the DJI Mini 2 batteries are misbehaving. So a very quick video today on steps you need to take to look after them and avoid their premature death. Hello, I'm Ian, and today I have to thank Tom at Live My Journey for highlighting an issue that has been uh, driving me bananas, frankly, as I could not work out what was going wrong. In a nutshell, we've got a bit of an issue with the Mini 2 batteries. If you have left these in the drone or in the charging hub that you get with the uh, Fly More Combo, and if you do, then do this now. Get your drone and uh, obviously just quick press of the power button and you can see the four lights light up. Likewise, with the charging hub, you've got a little power button there, press that and it shows the charge status of the battery. So all well and good. And as you can see that both the batteries in the charging hub and in the drone are fully charged. But the issue is that I haven't used the Mini 2 in over three weeks since filming my smooth gimbal settings video. I charged them up after that and then I left them. And this is the huge issue because these are intelligent flight batteries. They've got electronics on board to auto discharge them slowly when they're stored at full charge because they're LiPo batteries. LiPo batteries hate being stored at full charge or less than 50% charge. They last far, far longer when st stored at around 70% charge. And that's why DJI have invested so much time and effort with the electronics built into each of the batteries to start auto discharging them after just a few days without use. Now, according to the manual, they should start auto discharging by around 5% per day from day one of being stored, getting down to around 70% after five days. This is to prevent serious damage to the batteries that really does occur when they're stored at full capacity for any long period. There's a great article that I'll link below to on how and why this happens, but the bottom line is that these batteries are supposed to look after themselves, but they don't if you leave them connected into the drone or connected inside the charging hub, which of course is what most of us do. And this is why I've been finding my batteries at full charge when I've gone to use the Mini 2 after a week or two, when otherwise I would have been expecting the batteries to have been slightly discharged. So for the time being, your only option is to make sure that you take the batteries out of the drone and out of the charging hub when storing them. This is the only way they're gonna look after themselves and start auto discharging. And this is important or they will run the real risk of damage. And they definitely won't last as long, meaning at some point in the near future, they will suddenly stop charging and you will find yourself having to buy a replacement. I have to say I'm a bit unsure whether or not DJI can fix this by a firmware upgrade, but I will keep an eye out and I will let you know. But to be clear, it is only the Mini 2 that seems affected by this. All the other models handle being left in the drone and the Mini 1 doesn't even have LiPo batteries. So that's it for today, ultra short video, but a very important message. Only put the batteries in the drone or the hub when you're traveling out for a flight. When you get home, obviously charge them up because they don't like being stored at, uh, uh, with no charge. But the moment they're fully charged, then unpack them and leave them be, and they will thank you by lasting an awful lot longer. Anyway, look, as I said, very quick video. Feel free to send this on to anyone that you know that owns a Mini 2. You can let me know below in the comments about what you think about this. And as ever, hit the little like for me to help the video along. But until next time, hope you find it useful. Have fun. Happy flying.